Hello, this is Manash Patel from IMTF Trade or IchimikuTrade.com. Today is February 6, 2018. And the biggest topic today is are we in a market crash? Should we buy? Should we sell? What should we do? The last three days, pretty much the markets have been going down in the US side, which is pretty much transversed across to the global markets. Also, this morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time, it's about 6 o'clock a.m. Uh, futures uh, are all down in the U.S. market drastically, along with Japan markets, Europe markets, and so forth. So the thing is, is it time to panic, Is or is it this a great buying opportunity? So this is the question we're going to answer in this little workshop. Before we begin... We're going to go for our normal disclaimer to state this is for education use only. We're not soliciting a buyer or seller in a particular instrument. If you do so, you're doing at your own risk. All information is owned by EII Capital Group. It cannot be copied or distributed without our written permission. Uh, we are broker neutral, but today we're going to use TradingView to display the charts and to go from there. Okay, so here's the E-mini S&P 500 futures. This is the monthly time frame. And the reason why we're looking at monthly time frame is you want to see overall where this market is long term. Okay. And you could see here that this has been going up, 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 up for a very, very long time. Okay. The red line here represents the support resistance for the last nine bars, which is the last nine months. And you could see that we pretty much have been going up since we got above that red line here, which is basically around uh, March of 2016. We really haven't closed below that red line at all. We've kind of touched it like we did here in November 2016, but we closed right back above it. And right now, at the, in this month, right now, we're below this red line, but doesn't mean we've closed below it. We've still got a couple of days before that. So this red line basically indicates we're going for a minor pullback, which is what we're doing. If it gets down to this green line here, we're, in, we're going for a major pullback long term. Okay, so right now we're going for a minor pullback. We really don't know if this is going to turn into a major one uh, because this is a monthly time frame. You have to wait for the bars to close. Okay, so let's go to the weekly time frame, which is a little more shorter. And let's see if that's still bullish intact. Okay, so we're just giving it a second for the charts to load and we get loading here. Now, over here, this is the weekly time frame here. And you could kind of see here very similar to the monthly time frame. Here was our bullish setup here, which is basically 2016. This looked like it hit the stop here, but it didn't because these was on support resistance. So this is the first time we've actually been stopped out of this bullish trade since 2016, which is June 2016. Okay, so we are going for uh, a huge pullback here on a weekly time frame. Now, it doesn't mean it's a major pullback yet. We got to see exactly where this week ends. Okay, and that's going to be very, very critical to kind of see if we close above this level here, which is 2650, then this trend is still intact and we're not going for a major pullback. And we still could sit there, and go retest the high right now, uh, the following week. If we sit there and close below this level here that we just gave you 2650, then we do have a possibility where we could go to a major pullback, which is this cloud. So we have to kind of see exactly where we stand with everything. If you look here, the crosses, which are the multiple time frame supports, these are your levels here for your supports. There's a cross right here, which we pretty much have gotten to. The major support, multiple time frame support is right here, which is pretty much what started the trend here, which is roughly around 2470. So we have two levels here. One level, which was roughly about right there, which we've gotten, which is 2572. And the next level here is 2470. So those are the two levels that we're looking at right now. Uh, but we kind of have to wait and see exactly where the market's going. But this is still bullish intact here. Okay. Let's go to the daily time frame. And let's see exactly what's going on there. Let's give it a time. Here we're below the cloud here today. But remember, the bar is not closed at all. So we kind of held the right at the bottom of this cloud yesterday. So it's still not bearish at all. Momentum is still not good uh, for bearish at all. So we're still intact as far as the daily is concerned. It's not bullish. It's not bearish. It's neutral, which is kind of good for the bullish signs too. So where we, what we do today is going to be very, very critical. You could see the support here that we kind of lit, uh, came into, and you could kind of see that's the multiple time frame support. 
and the next one here is this level here which is 2474 so where we close today is going to be very very critical today could sit there and hold this level here and start to go up we don't really know what's going to happen right now we have to monitor the lower time frames during the day to kind of see what's going on but you kind of need to sit back and just relax let the market kind of tell you what's going on now a lot of people are like is this a buying opportunity well let's go look at our scanner find if you are if this is a buying opportunity where is the opportunities at let me show you exactly how to find the best buying opportunities for you uh, based on our scanner so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to log in on our website ichimukutrade.com I'm going to clear my profiles okay now first thing I want to do is I want to go to the monthly time frame and I want to find everything that's basically trending bullish so I'm going to strip for strategy number four, search for it to be bullish. Okay. Sorry, strategy number five, which is telling me the monthly time frame is trending. Okay. Then I want to go to the weekly time frame and I want to do the same thing. I want to find what's trending, which is strategy number five. And I want to make sure it's bullish because the market's still overall bullish. I do that there and I go to the daily time frame and I do the same thing. This is telling me every stock that's basically that I'm looking for, or any instrument in general, which is bullish on both the daily, weekly, and monthly time frame, and everything's still intact. I'm going to come to the columns. Just want to make sure I put my date on here. Okay. And I'm going to come to the general tab, and I'm going to pick whatever instrument class I want. So if I come over here, click on the S&P 500, boom. These are all the instruments here that basically are bullish right now and you should be looking for pullback opportunities or breakout opportunities on the lower time frame here okay that's the S&P 500 I come to the Nasdaq I'm over here and you can see here there's not many now why am I looking at Nasdaq well the reason why I'm looking at Nasdaq remember technology basically took us out of the real estate bu uh, the financial bust okay technology is what's been leading these markets doesn't mean it's going to sit there and keep on leading it but these are the best opportunities right now to look at so these are the ones I'm going to be looking at today and then I'm going to sit there and go to my S&P 500 and basically look at opportunities there okay so I gotta wait for the scan to give me some results at the market open because the futures are down so I'm gonna wait for the markets to kind of open up go down run the scanner here see which stocks are still bullish on both the daily weekly monthly as far as they're trending and i'm going to basically go on the lower time frames like 60 minutes two hours or four hours or even 30 minutes and i'm going to start looking for opportunities to go bullish on those trades okay if all those time frames are bearish then you're going to be looking for the 30 minute to give you a bullish sign because it's got to start from the lower time frames and progress its way forward so that's basically how you find buying opportunities in this market condition Hope you guys had, uh, hope this was very informative. Uh, please do not panic. Just wait for the markets to kind of tell us what it's going to do and then react based on that. But have your trading plan ready to go and executing uh, in case this market does bottom out and starts to go forward. Find the best stocks which are still trending on both the daily, weekly, monthly, which is pretty much the long term time frame. If you guys have any questions, you can email us at info at eiicapital.com.